Do you blame yourself? What? Well, it's quite common in this situation for a patient to feel a kind of guilt. What situation? The accident. It's a video in the wastelands of Fallout. I wanted to do a playthrough of Fallout, but uh, I decided to throw a couple mods in here. I started making this video a long time ago, but uh, this video is kind of looking like it might be us in a couple months, so that's uh, a yikes. Anyways, enjoy the vi video and subscribe if you like it. If you guys really like this video, then I may do a playthrough where I just break the game with mods. Let's get to the wasteland. Alright, it's day one. I started off by making me in about 50 years, and uh, gotta say, I'm looking pretty good. I explored my house a bit, and then I went to have a sit. And then I went to see my hideous, hideous child. Oh my gosh, who birthed this? Who made this thing? But then my trance got interrupted by a salesman. And um, I don't really like Jehovah's Witnesses, so I closed it on him. But he was persistent, so I answered his questions, and I decided to evenly distribute my stats. But then the next day, everything changed. I don't know what happened, but I'm just running at this point. I, alarms are going off, so I'm just sprinting. I don't know if my wife and child are behind me, but I sure hope that they are. And uh, oh look, they're right here. And oh, the sky is on fire, and I'm in the vault. And now I'm in the vault, and they immediately froze me, which, you know, I don't really have a problem with. But then they stole my child and killed my wife, which I'm okay with the child, but the wife thing, you've gone too far, you've gone too far. So I woke up and I just started loot goblining everything in the vault I could find. There were some cockroaches. So I'm going to leave the vault now. I'm going to leave the vault immediately. I don't like the roaches. I'm leaving instantly. Day three, I made it out. I'm back out in the world. The world of Fallout. It's a pretty nice world. I went home and, um, yikes. The property value here has gone down. But hey, I stole my butler. I, mean, I didn't think the house didn't make it, but I sure I have this guy here to serve me. And uh, I looted a bit of the, like the neighborhood, and then I found dog meat. Dog meat is the best companion. It's not even close. It's not even close. He's just a dog. He's just a dog, and he follows you around, and he's just a happy little guy, and he likes ripping people's heads off. But uh, I'm just trying to progress the story a little bit faster. You know, I'm looting as much as I can, but I decided that it was time to head into town. On my way to town, I found a trader, and I did a bit of trading. I bought this uh, modded item. I don't really know what it does, but it increased my stats a little bit, so I just headed off after that. There were some bandits trying to attack a church, all right? See, the world hasn't changed much, uh, but I got a new weapon, and I went inside to help with clearing out the bandits. Uh, the Minutemen were here. The Minutemen, they're not my favorite faction, all right? They're not the greatest, but you gotta help out the Minutemen. They're just they're just those guys, you know? I decided that the approach I'm gonna take to the story is playing like the nice guy. I'm just gonna, you know, chill, you know, pick the nice choice options. Uh, I cleared out most of the building, and then I got the power suit. The power suit is awesome. All right, I wiped out bandits left and right. They didn't stand a chance. What is that? What is that? Oh, why is it running so fast? <laughs> why is it so fast? It's a death claw, all right? Death claws, you want to stay away from these guys. These guys are probably the most dangerous thing in the game, to be honest. Uh, but lucky for, unlucky for this guy, I had a, a new gun. After I cleared out that, um, it was time to just go back home. I was running out of power on my energy core, so I sort of had to run back as fast as I could. I <laughs> and, and I got a little bit distracted though. I got a tiny bit distracted. I I saw this guy and I'm like, hey, what what loot does this person have? What kind of kind of kind of loot they got, huh? What kind of loot they got? Turns out that I can't kill them and they're invincible. So I decided to just go home and set up the Minuteman base. Day six, it's time to clean up this neighborhood make it all sparkly and new. Uh, I set up some beds and then I gave up. I just left town, you know? You, you, you get a place to sleep and that's it. That's all I'm providing for you. Fend for yourselves, because I'm not doing it. Uh, after I left town, I found a place that, um, let's just say I'm not ready for it yet. I'm just not, 
ready to take on those enemies yet. Uh, I went into the market. Ghouls. So many ghouls. Just hideous, hideous creatures. But you know, I'm not, I'm not a punk. So I just decided to clear it out. And then I left and then... I am once again surrounded by ghouls on day seven in an attempt to kill this annoying, annoying guy with this nuke on the top of this building. It took a couple attempts, but I got him, all right? I got him, I killed him, and um, then I decided to keep exploring. And I ran into the Brotherhood of Steel at the police station. I think I'm gonna stick around with the Brotherhood for a while. You know, I, I'm not sure yet, but uh, I think I'm, I think I may end up going with them just because they have the most resources, they have the most people. It just seems like the right move. But for right now, I just looted the station and I accepted a mission with the Paladin. On the way there, we murdered a couple raiders, you know. I sucked up the Pal Paladin, you know, it sucked, you know, just gotta get on his good side. And um, the Institute's here, which is not great, not great. Day nine, it's a huge battle with all the synths. Uh, I had the chance to kill Paladin Dance at the very bottom of the reactor. Like, I was like, I could turn on the alarm and like kill him and save myself. But you know what? I saved him for now. You know, I'm not, <laughs> I may stick with the Brotherhood for right now, but there's no telling what will happen later. I may change my mind instantly and murder all of them. Day 10 was just me getting out of the building and I got a pretty cool weapon from Dance. I'm still running day 11. And I found this weird greenhouse that's run by robots, which is pretty cool. I don't think that I really like did anything with them. I think I may have done one mission later, but for right now, I just decided to leave it alone because I wanted to go back to the police station. Turns out that they uh, they trust me now, which may or may not be a mistake. We'll see later to be determined. But uh, they gave me a couple missions, so I decided to go and take them on. And what an awful, awful mistake that was because I get rocked by ghouls, all right? If I get surrounded by ghouls, I start to panic and it is not a good situation. And you know, because why not? I went into an underground subway and wouldn't you know, more ghouls. They, they were sleeping or something, but it's, it's fine. And I found the mission thing and I just got out of there. I got out of there immediately. Day 12, there's a dog. Up. Oh. Dead dog. It's a dead, it's a dead dog. Dead, uh, power, uh, power armor, raiders with power armor. Yeah, so let's get all, let's get away from that. Uh, I want that. I want that power armor. So I was able to clear it out, but the power armor wasn't that great. And also, ooh, look, a little bit of a, a little bit of a chest. Let's take a peek what's in here. Round two, round two. I'm not gonna fall for the same thing twice. I cleared this place and got this loot easily. Now I'm looking for Diamond City. And I found instead of mutants. And, uh, mutants, scare me just gonna it's gonna be straight up they just terrify me so i'm just gonna run away for right now and when i get some better armor some better weapons we'll take them on day 13 i'm on a little bit of a quest but uh you know what i said about mutants turns out it's it's the mission's right in the middle of a mutant camp so um don't really have a choice and i cannot stab i cannot communicate just how many mutants there are actually in fact all right, take two, take. Woo, here we go, love, love Fallout. Uh, I brought out the heavy artillery. I bought an AK, all right? You <laughs> I could, that gave me a strap. We're not, we're not holding back. Don't question where I got the AK. I got it at some point. And um, also, I can't complete the mission. I just ran through this whole thing, wasted all of my AK ammo, and I cannot complete the mission because it has a master lock on it. And I, I'm upset. Let's just say I'm a little bit upset. But on the bright side, you know, I found Diamond City. Got bored. I went outside the city, died to this thing. Don't, uh, well, let's just say it was a fair trade. You know, we traded, to be honest. It was a, it, it was really up in the air who won. You know, it could have, it could have gone either side. Day 14, I was an intelligent individual and I stayed near Piper out of fear because I don't want to get killed again. Piper got some beef with the mayor. And uh, <laughs> forget about the man. Look at these prices. Check out how expensive these everything is. Look, everything is so expensive here. Oh my God, this is like living in New York. This is awful. And <laughs> another thing, just a small little other fact. I am out of ammunition. I have, I am, I have no more ammo. No more ammo. So I decided to just talk to Piper. And I'm no longer going to be talk to, talking to Piper. I just, I'm just not feeling it. I'm just, <laughs> just not feeling Piper this round. I'm just gonna ditch her. And, uh, oh, what's happening out here, guys? 
Oh. Oh, I will no longer sleep at night. Anyways, I tried to persuade this guy and it didn't work, so I just had to leave the whole situation. Day 15, I decided to progress the story a little bit and I went looking for the detective. Yeah, he's captured. So I'm just gonna take care of that, you know? On the way there, there were some raiders that existed too close to me, so they had to go. Uh, and now I'm in a mutant basement. Don't know why I'm here. It's not part of the quest, but I'm here. And I tried to take it on sneakily at first, but then I like forgot that I was trying to <laughs> trying to be sneaky and I just started shooting people. So that's great. Day 16, midway through this massacre, I found an absolute gold mine in this basement. These electric horses are worth bank. All right, this is like the stock market somehow. Don't, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Don't, don't, don't look too much into that metaphor. Don't, don't question me. But uh, after I cleared out this room and I had everything in my inventory, you know, I had like cleared some stuff out to make sure I had the weight and everything because I was a little bit too heavy. I uh, went up to these guys and I just got dropped. Just, <laughs> just a single, just got dropped by a single mutant because I forgot that my health was low and now I had to clear the whole basement all over again. Day 17, I <laughs> I was, I just forgot about the detective, first of all. Uh, I went to Diamond City to try to make bank and I, you know, I didn't make as much as I had hoped. They were just not as like worth as much as I thought they were. So I just bought ammo and then I wandered around exploring the area. Then I see this thing coming at me at Mach 5. <laughs> no, but seriously, what do you, what do you do? I'm freaking out. Cause what even is this thing? Like, let's be, what, what is this? Lucky for me though, I do stay strapped. Uh, I found this machine gun somewhere and I dumped everything I had. I left him with a sliver of health and I finished him off with the AK as he struggled for life. And for my efforts, I got this thing, which would be great for a melee build, but I do not have a melee build. So it is useless to me. I'm so glad that I, Experienced that traumatic event for nothing. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Day 18, I just sort of wandered into Good Neighbor. I don't even know how I really got here. I just sort of kept walking. And I was greeted by this lovely side character. If He has such side character energy. But you know, he's such a nice guy. I really hope nothing bad happens to him. Oh. Why does everyone I meet die? Why is that, <laughs> why is that a common thing around me? The guys here, they had some good gear, uh, nothing great, nothing like Diamond City. But then I talked to this lovely lady. Ah, what a nice woman. I'm sure she doesn't have an OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, okay, surely, surely I can't put that in the video. Surely I, surely you need to delete that part of the video, right? Right? Anyways, I talked to her for a little bit. Um, I don't know what the conversation was. I don't remember. Um, dead guy outside, nothing new, moving on. Day 19, I no longer wish to be broke, so I will no longer be broke. I started, I needed a way to make money. So I bought some spare parts and I made one generator and then, <laughs> and then I ran out of resources. Okay, so it's not, okay, so you need money to make money. I re I've now realized the economic problem that plagues our modern society. Day 20, I decided to just go out and exploring because I figured I would like get the resources at some point and uh, I almost got shredded by some bugs. So that was a wake up call for me. I'm so glad that I am now broke and also almost dead. And then as if cosmic irony, I ran into a gaggle of robots, which, you know, it actually was easier than the bugs. It was actually, <laughs> it was actually easier than, Never mind, because this guy exists. Um, no, big gun, bye, bye bye, bye bye now. I then explored for a little bit and then I made the horrible decision to run into a heavily guarded mutant fort and was greeted by this guy, which is not what you want to see. And then, all right, so I managed to take out the ones that were like chasing me, but I'm not going back there. I'm just, I'm just not, I just can't. I literally cannot take that on. I can't do that today. Day 21, I somehow ended up here and I don't, what an awful mistake it was to be here because these guys, we're packing, all right? Who gave these guys these weapons, all right? Specifically this guy. I cleared most of the floor. I was just chilling and looting. There's one guy left. I want you to look at my health. I didn't know that enemies could have modded weapons. That 
scared me. I, at the time, I just assumed that he just one-shotted me for no reason. And I was freaking out. The accuracy on this guy was insane. And I just, I don't know. Bro, like join the Brotherhood or something. Why are you, why is the American sniper a random raider? I am in shock right now. And I'm just, I'm just gonna play this next clip because. <laughs> All right, actually, so that's not me. All right, my little brother was playing. I, I, I would like a lawyer. I would. <laughs> okay, that one, that that one is me. And I can't even, I can't even front. He snapped on me. He got me. He really, he really just got me with that one. But I finally managed to kill him. And look at the damage on this weapon. No wonder this guy was destroying me. You could give a COD kid this thing and make them into a American hero. And after the fact that I cleared this whole thing, I realized the reason that I was here was just for some random brotherhood mission, which uh, it just wasn't, just wasn't worth it. This wasn't worth the pain. I'm gonna have PTSD from this. Day 22, I'm now just wandering the wasteland. I found this place. I I literally never came back here. But then I found a death claw. And you know what? With my new weapon, I'm pretty confident in my abilities. And you know what? I didn't die to the death claw. I hate it here. I hate I hate living. Alright, the second attempt went amazingly. He got dropped and I ran away from the bugs because that's just not happening. I'm just not gonna die to bugs for the fourth time. The fourth time is where I draw the line. Anyway, I'm going on another Brotherhood mission because the last one went so great. Uh, just checking to see what happened to a patrol that went silent. Oh! Oh, they're not just dead. They got slot. They got- they literally are already buried. They already got buried here. And I can't loot their armor, which is actually the saddest part. The actually- it's not the fact that these guys got slaughtered and already buried. It's the fact that I can't loot their armor. Anyways, I, uh, I killed this guy because his- his clothes look cool. But the stats sucked, so, um... RIP my guy, I guess, for nothing. But back to these guys that are just so, so dead. They actually led me to another base, and this place had a bunch of turrets, but I think that as long as I'm careful, I should be... Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so they led me to another... <laughs> All right, round two. I found another way in. I found another way in, and, um, yep, they're, they're dead. They're truly dead. All right, day 24. When I left, I jumped. What? What? What does that? What does that mean? Why did I? What is that? Uh, God? I'm just gonna. Yeah. So I looted the rest of this place, and um. Is that the Grim Re All right. So once God over there found the stairs, I guess he really had some trouble with that. Um, I was in actual trouble. Because I had him low, but I was out of all ammo. That's going to be a common theme, is just not having any ammunition. But eventually I whittled him down, and... Oh, cool, nothing. Alright, so the next place... So the next place was a giant mutant camp. This can only go well. It did not go well. Day 25, after getting absolutely humiliated by a mutt... Uh, I upgraded some of my weapons, I gave this homeless guy a soda, and I upgraded some more. And now, I think I feel confident in at least standing, at least not dying to a dog. I'm not gonna die to the dog. Day 26 is the big siege. Alright, I was able to maneuver my way through here, like, picking off a lot of the mutants. Uh, the guys that came here for the Brotherhood mission, they're dead, of course. I already could figure that out by the past two missions. But the big loot was just being able to take on this place without getting killed at the front door. Moving on, I, uh, traveled to this bunker. I think this is probably gonna be the final mission in this saga. And, oh my god, a guy that's not dead. That's, <laughs> that's so surprising. Nice guy. He had a he had a really sad story. He even let me loot the base. You know, I got a new weapon. Um, it was really great. You know, really great experience. But I like hey, I like the fit, dog. I like uh, where you get those from, huh? Where you get those from? Oh! 
<laughs> the next day, I had to tell Falden, Oh man, your guy, he was dead when I got there. Just couldn't, couldn't have done anything. Honestly, it's a miracle. Where did I get these clothes? Would this fit? You're asking about the fit? Uh, you know, I just found it. Don't ask any more questions. After I finished telling the bad news to Paladin, I think it's time to finally free the detective. I know, right? I'm actually doing the main story. It's crazy. Um, I went down and I found the starting point of the mission and... <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why does he do? Why do they do so much damage? Why is it that's so much damage? Like why you who gave you these guns? I don't understand. All of the gangsters have SMGs. I I died a couple times, just a few times. But what I found is that the SMGs and I'll find all the modded guns are worth so much money. It is worth getting killed because I can loot these guys, drop whatever useless weapons I have on me, and I can make bank. You know, day 28, like I said before, these gangsters have military weapons. And um, it's not easy to get to them with this staircase. They'll uh, they'll get you. And uh, once you get past this room, they'll still get you. They'll still find a way. Uh, day 29, I finally was able to push into a little bit more. I found some new weapons on the way there. Died a couple times. But I'm making bake off these weapons. So I'm chilling, honestly. Uh, it's fine. A couple deaths is not worth anything. Um, I was able to finally find Valentine, and it was finally time to escape this godforsaken vault. But then, uh, this guy showed up. These guys, you know, they were, they were gangsters. Big boss showed up, you know. But, um, they were talking so much. Uh, she said something, and I just had this grenade launcher in my hand. So, back at base, I was finally able to make the water purifiers. And I finished out the day by, um, upgrading some more weapons. Day 31, I killed another Death Claw, and yes, it did inflame my ego. I am literally God reincarnated. Uh, I went to the water treatment plant for some random mission. I think it was from the um, robots that were like in the garden. I hate these things. They're just annoying to deal with, and there were so many of them in this place. I don't even know what they're called. Let's call them the Shell Guys. Shell Guys were the nightmare of my life. But by the next day, I'd cleared out the whole thing and I turned in the new mission, and I'm just making more upgrades, because at this point, I'm picking up a lot more, like, random loot on the ground, because I have a lot more inventory space, so I'm able to pick stuff up, and I'm just constantly upgrading my guns. But a bit of a problem, my water purifiers are not producing water, which, you know, is what they're supposed to do. I, I don't know what else to say, they're just not doing their job, which is a big problem. And I decided to move on for day 33, and I went, just went to talk to Valentine, you know, went around, Broke into somebody's house, ended up breaking into the doctor's basement, found this guy, he pulled a gun on me, so what do I gotta do? I'm just gonna shoot him, you know? I, I don't hesitate, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a punk, you know? Pull out a gun on me, I'll pull out, I'll shoot you, you know? Don't mess with me. I turned in the quest, and um, I think that it was like time get it or something, because I just sort of left to do something else. I spent five minutes killing this super mutant that I couldn't get the loot for anyway, so I... I did that, I guess. And uh, then I went back to that place, you know, that mission that took me a while to clear with the Super Mutants originally. And um, I could just free these guys. I don't know. Did I have the key on me the entire... Oh, we're going to move on now. Any <laughs> Anyways, day 34, they're free after one last shootout. And now it's time to break into another house. But this time I need the keys. And I think you can do something with Piper here and like talk to her and she'll maybe help you get the keys but i'm just i've just decided to be anti-piper this round so i just tried to pickpocket the keys off of the mayor so what's the problem with this um it's just not possible it's just he just he, i do not i just simply do not have the level of in pickpocketing to do this by normal means i literally had to like sit behind him in a chair with the door closed and out of pure absolute luck no skill involved it worked without loading him and i just walked away it was clean and easy it was so easy i can't believe it was i spent so much time doing that you don't actually you know you actually don't understand i actually spent like 30 minutes just trying to get this key just because out of rebellion for piper now why do i rebel her i don't know i don't know what's happening i don't i don't anyways i got in they had some decent stuff in like the chest and stuff and uh, a little bit of a clue to help find my son which i honestly just forgot about him just forgot that my son existed was just sort of enjoying the wasteland at this point um but after finding that clue i just needed to find dog meat to um 
Oh, hi, dog meat. How convenient. Uh, I followed dog meat uh, around the wasteland, finding some clues, and oh my god, is that a bear? Just ch is that a mutated bear? Day 36, dog meat and the clues led to here. Uh, it was a, a bit of a fortified base. It had a couple of turrets, but they shouldn't be any problem. Where did. So where did my health go? So where did so where did all of my health actually go? Finally, after like a bit of time just dying to these turrets, I finally found a way in. I made it through the base. It, it wasn't really that big of a deal. Uh, I made it to the final room where Kellogg was, the guy that kidnapped my son. Well, we did a little bit of a chat, and the fight went well until he turned invisible and threw a nade. It's the second attempt, okay? And it, <laughs> and it went a lot better. It went a lot more smoothly. I didn't really, I wasn't really in a talking mood this time. Day 38, I finished up the mission, and I headed to the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood ship had finally arrived. Little fly in the helicopter, and uh, hey, look at that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for that later, at some point, probably, maybe. I made it to the ship, and this guy tried to vibe check me at the entrance, um, but honestly, I just don't care. But what I did care about was the stats on the main guy's coat. I, I just wanted to take a peek, you know, I had a quick save, just a small peek. Turns out, everyone in this room is stacked. Either everyone is stacked, or one person has a really powerful gun, and I don't know which it is, but I cannot get through this room. When I finally was able to clear it, the stats weren't even that good. Just wasn't worth it. Just wasn't worth it at all. And look at the weapons here. Bro, who who gave you guys these? Where are you getting them from? You're like you're like not even the real military. Who who's providing you with these weapons? But it's whatever. Day 39, I looted as much as I could, and I got my power armor. It was at this point that I realized that I was going to eliminate the Brotherhood. Because they have a lot of cool stuff. And I am a connoisseur of cool stuff. But first I need all the rewards I can get from these guys, then I will kill them. Day 40, just gonna do a little bit of a mission. Okay, I'm killing this thing now. And okay, the mutants have nuclear bombs. Nuclear bombs in the hands of these guys. Gonna eat your dog! I thought it was just gonna be like funny militarized apocalypse Republican adventures, but it's actually just the Cold War. Anyways, the mission was easy, but I'm gonna need a bit of a break from the Brotherhood of Steel before I make them extinct. I just just need to step away for a moment, just take an absence. Day 41, I'm back on the main story mission. I went into that guy's head. A very boring mission, but very important story-wise. Anyways, I need to go deep into the wasteland, so I headed out. On the way there, I stacked at this like casual little mutant hideout. And um, what? Who are you? Can I give up? Is that an option? Can I leave? Okay, okay, actually, ne wait, never mind. It's okay. They have a godproof gate here. You see, I've been meaning to install one of these around the base. It just stops little deities from going around them. Day 42, um, I'm here. Among the bugs and... <laughs> Hi, welcome to my Yulji. Would you all like to have a seat? Actually, never mind, because I forgot that I had delete key the gun. You know, remember that gun that the guy that killed me a bunch had? I still have that, and it still does a lot of damage. A little bit later, I kept walking, and I found, um, people? Oh my god. How are you- how are- how are any of you alive? No, no, actually, no, genuine question. How are any of you, like, alive? Like, actually? Like, genuinely, that should not be a thing. But, whatever, I just needed to get what I needed to leave. Okay, so I'm back here. I'm back. I talked to her. I uh, killed two death, death claws on the way, and I found the dude who is this thing, I guess. Day 43, I um, I'm outside of the mission. You know, I got what I have to. I have a quest that I need to do, but more importantly, I found this. You know, and I'm I'm a man of adventure. I just simply have. Okay, well the results. I'm not. Well the results were expected. Uh, <sighs> day 44, day 45, day 46. I realize now on day 47 that I left my computer on. So, um, all right, we're just going to continue moving. And I now need to kill a Terminator. Didn't really, 
think that this was going to happen so soon. Well, I do have a lot of good guns. I'd say that I'm not exactly prepared for this, but honestly, it really shouldn't be too bad except for the boss. Well, how do you do? Top of the morning to you. When you're strolling down the boring. All right. I'm going to reevaluate the situation and I will come back stronger next time. Maybe a little bit more prepared. But when I left the building, I decided that I'm going to uh, just disable the modded weapons. I don't know. It just made it like not really fun for me because I, I, I could like kill most things super easily. And like it's not like the enemies could just one shot me. It's not really like it was like a challenge for them either. So I sold all my modded guns and I took them out of the game. And you may be mad at that, that decision that I've made. We do not care. Anyways, day 49, I spent all day getting new weapons and upgrading them. And now I'm back in the tower. Day 50, midway through the day, I was at the top. I was a bit scared without my gun that literally just deleted enemies. But, uh, you know, it was a tough battle. It was a real fight. You know, we were both at our wit's end and I finally was able to kill him and I finished the mission. Day 51, I decided that I wanted to, you know, introduce the railroad into this playthrough. So I spent all day just following the trail and day 52, I finally got there. I was able to solve the puzzle pretty easily and the railroad has entered the battle. Apparently I'm a courser killer, um, which sounds like a slur. They took me in pretty easily, honestly. Um, I could have just murdered them right now, but I decided to, you know, I've just, I, I may go with the railroad, you know, they're pretty cool guys. They're like freeing the sense, which is like slavery, I guess, is the parallel they were going for here. Uh, anyways, I upgraded my weapons. Now I'm doing a mission with Deacon, and I, I will honestly say probably one of the most entertaining characters in the game. Uh, it's a sewer mission. It's the first major interaction with the Institute since the Brotherhood incident. I whipped through most of the mission just to once again find that everyone here is dead. And uh, I also found that I'm not a big fan of the Institute weapons, just not really my thing. But I looted the vault and um, I dipped out of there. Trying to put a certain quest into motion. So doing a mission for the railroad doctor right now. And uh, I found another major settlement called Bunker Hill. And I met with the railroad person. After a while of a time gated mission, we met in the church and uh, thought about shooting the synth that I was supposed to be saving, but I didn't, you know, I didn't do that. I just thought about it for like a split second and then I got distracted with like how you can like hold your breath with weapons. I didn't know that you could do that. So that, that <laughs> my, my short attention span actually just saved the synth's life. I'm actually sort of a hero when you think about it. The reason I was thinking about killing the synth in the first place was because I knew it was now going to be an escort mission. Ooh, so fun and interactive. But after many just out of the nowhere like stops in the middle of the path and a couple bandits, I finally finished the mission. My next mission for the railroad was to like finish this abandoned base. Uh, I started the mission, but then I had a problem. I'm running out of fusion cores and I did not have enough money to buy more. Day 56, where can I get more from? The Brotherhood, all right? It only took a couple attempts uh, to pickpocket the fusion core off this first guy, but the second guy is impossible actually. And I went for the other suits, but then I realized I could just steal the entire suits and sell them for money. And a couple of mishaps later, I got them and I sold them back to the Brotherhood guy. And that is how cryptocurrency works, fellas. I bought fusion cores using the money from the fusion cores and my problem was solved. Then I literally lost it all by like stealing a teapot and then I had to do it all again. Day 57, I went back to the base to finish up with the bare minimum of what they'd need to survive. And then the next railroad mission was uh, a bit brutal. A building full of mutants. I pulled out one of my best weapons and ran through this thing, guns are blazing. I was not trying to go stealthy. I had my power suit on and I was going for it. After I finally got through that mission, I thought I was done with like the quest steps um, and I had gotten the thing that I wanted from the railroad. I even got all the gear that I would need to put the special mod on. But then when I went to upgrade it, I did not have it. I did not have it and I don't know why. So day 58, I completed another mission for the robot and I zoomed through that one and boom, I have Ballistic Weave, which makes unarmored gear really good. But unfortunately, I do not have the material for it because once again, I cannot elaborate this enough. I am very poor. But you know what? I decided to go on with my plan for upgrading my armor anyways, just in hopes that I would like find the materials over time. 
The boss here has some really good armor, and not only was this place heavily guarded, but I once again ran out of fusion cores. I eventually got, you know, some more fusion cores. I went back to the Diamond City in Baltimore, and I'm back in action. I cleared this place no problem. <laughs> The uh, boss has a nuke. Not sure of how to. Not sure of a solution for this one. Actually, I do have a solution. My solution was to just rush her. I just <laughs> rush at the person with the nuke, and you know what? It actually, it actually worked. Unironically, rush the person with the nuke, and it worked. I got most of the heavy combat armor that I wanted, and this combined with ballistic armor would be amazing. Day 60, I spent most of the day just upgrading my weapons. So I remembered, I still have to do the main story. So I went back to that scientist and I gave him the codes and I killed my first legit death claw without the broken guns. Day 61 is another mission for the anti-slave robot. Uh, I've officially introduced to Bunker Hill now and I wanted this spray and play. You know, this thing was really good and I went home to find stuff to sell, but I made a bit of a mistake. I brought Strong, the super mutant that I freed, to carry stuff for me and I got frame one gunned down. Day 62, I had to reload a checkpoint and gather all the items again. I had to sell so much stuff. I have nothing. But hey, look at how cool this gun is. Yeah, it's, it's so worth it, question mark. Uh, but I did use it to clear a construction site and it just tears through super mutants. Day 63, I did some trading. Uh, the water pumps are still not working. Also, I've been checking this location for a while now. It has the chance to spawn really high level power armor, but uh, it wasn't here this time. And I was a little bit confused. It turns out that the power armor won't look like the cool power armor that I want. It'll just like look like the rusty old power armor, but I didn't figure this out for a really long time. So I just kept coming back here periodically to check and I'll, I'll figure it out eventually, don't worry. But uh, I wanted this power armor because I decided it was time to exterminate the Brotherhood. But without it, I just have to go in with what I had. It started off pretty well, and uh, I even went back to sell this guy's power armor that I had killed. But Day 64, they were, they were a bit more stacked than I thought that they were. I was pretty much pinned in this corner, just blindly shooting at the lasers that were coming my direction. But I finally managed to clear the bridge and move on to the next level. And I get instantly cornered. My power armor is shredded, and I was pushed into a corner. But I brought out the spray and play, and they were very, very grouped up. And so I just annihilated them with the explosives. It was beautiful. It was pretty smooth sailing from there, minus the um, captain that pushed me back a little bit. But uh, looting the armor made up for that. But I couldn't take out the child, um, which is almost more cruel because he was stuck here in an infinite loop of fear. But um, it's not it's not my problem, I guess. It's just not, <laughs> not something that I can serve myself with. But everything changed day 65. I came here to sell a couple pieces of power armor that maybe I could like pick up and like bring. But the thing with power armor is that it's really high weight. But I found out that if you shoot the power armor on dead knights, the armor has zero weight. That is quite literally free money. I was so sad I didn't know about this in the beginning, but I managed to go back and grab the knights who didn't despawn. But the real challenge was yet to come. That was the ground level. There was no cover, and they have a fortress and non-stop shooting lasers. And my power armor is pretty much broken at this point. I didn't know how many times I died here, but eventually I found a garage and I lured them in and managed to whittle down their forces a little bit. But this actually ended up screwing me because the power armor on the guys that I killed started to despawn before I could loot them. And the base itself had nothing in it, so I didn't really get much from the huge amount of struggle that I had clearing this small little base. Day 66, I spent the day selling my power armor for adhesive and using that to upgrade my weapons. I decided to head for the crashed ship that I found earlier, that, like when I was flying over with the Brotherhood. But unluckily, I met these guys first, and they were very rude. And I mean unluckily for them, and you'll see why later. I met the lookout after clearing the raiders that were surrounding the ship, and on the ship, I, um, I instantly stole something. I don't know what came over me. It was just, uh, it was like a, an instinct, almost. But then I met the captain, who is honestly probably like just above Deacon as the coolest character in the game. He is terrifying, but also so sick. And of course, you know, with the dialogue, I was playing along, you know, you can't just not talk like the pirate to the pirate captain, you know, you got to go for it. It wasn't hard for me to decide that I was on the robot side. I cleared out some raiders that were coming and I completed the first repair on the ship. 
Then I'd headed to get the parts from these guys. <laughs> they want me to join their side. No, I think I'll choose the robot pirates and don't you ever disrespect them ever again. But you know what? I, um, I've changed, I've turned over a new leaf. I decided to try and steal the parts without killing the guys. Using this genius tactic, I managed to walk out. Uh-oh. I, I think that that went well. Um, anyways, the second repair is done and I'm not sure what I was doing here, but then the brotherhood showed up. So, uh, I got some more free money. Now it's time to get the next part. It was just surrounded by some like bugs and like some random shed. I have this explosive sniper that I found. So it, uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Bro, what do you, what do you mean? Why did it, I'm in power armor. Why did it do so much damage? I don't understand. Uh, I cleared it. I cleared it. Don't, don't worry about how many times I've died. It's not important really. I installed that part and the next location is this big factory. I ran through that and um, I installed the final part. Day 69, I cleared out the Raiders and I got this mobile cannon, which I will never use. But now it's time. It's time to say goodbye. Sail high, boys. Sail high. Okay. All right. Well, you know, I'm glad I can help. Back to the railroad. It's time. Time to set out to go to the Institute. I set up everything and it was time to head out. Day 70, let's go. I'm here. Where's my boy? Shut up, father. Who are you Give the father of anyways? Down, John. Well, how do you do? It's my son, Papa my boy. You. When you're strolling down the bow ring, that means the My, um, my, my boy you, this sweet is a man now, I guess. No, we all knew this plot just was coming. It's still kind of messed up to let me meet the robot son first. Like, you could have just started off by introducing yourself as, you know, like, you. I don't... I decided that I'm gonna play nice with these guys here, even though I'm definitely just not siding with the Institute. That's just not, that's illegal. You can't side with the Institute in a Fallout playthrough. That is absolutely illegal. I put the bug in for the railroad spy and I went around to meet everyone. I did some random stuff today and now I am instantly being sent on a kill mission. Thanks son, I would have loved to spend some time with you, but I guess I'm just an assassin now. But before, you know, I can really earn the Institute's trust with this mission that they've really bestowed upon me in order to establish myself, I need to talk to the railroad spy because, um, screw the Institute. All my homies hate the Institute. Day 72, a few troubles on the way to the mission, but I was flying high in no time. I could one-shot most of these guys with my explosive sniper, and this place had some, uh, some decent loot. I was almost at the main area, but I just wanted to clear some of the enemy so I could, you know, just make sure that the place was safe. I went into immediate panic. There was no hesitation in how scared I was. But it's fine, you know, I just need to find another way to attack this place and this is the worst thing that could have possibly happened. And I mean the absolute worst thing that could have happened. I tried to find the closest land and I tried to make my way back to my power armor after like scouting out the land, but I just couldn't find it. So I just had to restart the whole entire thing. Day 73, this time I will get in the face with another nuke. But more importantly, I couldn't find a way to get on to this main base. Pretty sure this place is like anti-power armor, but despite the odds, I found a way that was pretty risky, but I managed to get up there. Going through this place is pretty easy. Of course, the Corsair was all serious about it, but uh, I got a cool new shotgun and I uh, headed up for negotiations that instantly broke down. The Corsair ended up just shutting the whole operation down and I swept through the rest of the guys. Back at the Institute, Father told me about an attack and I instantly betrayed him and headed to the railroad. They were happy to see me and I warned them. Day 74, I gave food to my settlement, killed a Deathclaw, and then went to do a mission with the Corsair for the Institute. But just kidding because I killed the Corsair for the anti-slave robot. The next day, they wanted me to go to the creepiest robot hospital place that I've ever been in. These robots were just simply crazy and it was packed full of ghouls and it was just not a fun time. I couldn't navigate this place in my power armor, but I eventually cleared it and all the robots turned on me as soon as I got back out and I killed all of them and I went back to the railroad. Day 76, I added another water station because I just simply do not have any money. I teleported here Is that and raided a bandit camp that led to an underground base. 
I used the shotgun I got from the boat to just shred through it. Then I spent the next day gathering all the resources and I could finally get Ballistic Weave on my hat. Armored, it's an armored fedora. I made a new weapon and now I raid a hospital. This place was stacked with loot, but it was also stacked with a bunch of bandits. Just taking on one room and looting it took so long. But then day 78, I found the pit. A massive pit surrounded by bandits and a maze. It took me a while to just like find all the rooms, but I finally cleared it. Give us the opening downbeat, John. But then I realized that I hadn't cleared the railroad mission that I'd started a while ago. Well, how do you do? Day 79, I had pretty much gone through the whole place and it got to the point where I just gave up and killed everyone. And when I finished clearing the outside, it worked, the mission was over. I went to check on that power armor that I mentioned before, the one that won't show up. And uh, I still didn't figure it out by this point, so I just gave up on that. Day 80, I had enough of that actually. I, I went to Google and I tried to figure out why it wasn't showing up because I was well past the level at this point. And I figured out that it was a glitch and I got the armor and I went home and upgraded it as much as I could. Day 81, I upgraded my base armor some and then I remade my water generators because they were just glitched at this point. I just come to that realization. Then I went to do random missions while I waited. I also wanted to test out my armor without the power armor just by walking around and, oh no, this lady, she needs help. Wow, she's leading me back to this suspicious looking room. Oh, it's a trap? Zoinks, that's crazy. But I'm actually not too upset about it because this place was stacked with ammo and gear. Then I wanted to get a specific gun from a different vault. I got it no problem because I had the three fusion cores for a hundred caps. It's rewind time. You know what? I'm, I'm not gonna kill everyone in this vault because they may be useful someday. But I surely thought about it. I just, wanted to, I just want that out there. I definitely thought about it. Oh, awesome. And the Overseer's Guardian is so much money. I had to go home and gather everything that I owned. I have no more ride medication. I'm missing an arm, but I have the gun. And that's all that matters, really. I spent the next day upgrading the gun as much as possible, but I needed more materials. But lucky for me, finally, I was generating purified water and I could get more materials. I went back and forth until I had all the money that I could get from everything. And um, then I decided to go on another railroad mission. Just had to bop this courser and I was, it was over, just as easy as that. Day 84, I cleared all the witnesses that had witnessed me bopping the courser and I gunned down another courser. But with the Overseer's Guardian, just look at how much damage it does if you hit your shots. That's a, it's a big if you hit your shots there because I am wolf. I turned in that quest and now it's time for the Battle of Bunker Hill. I met up with the Corsa from the Institute, but my main mission when going in was to save all the sins for the railroad. And the Brotherhood was here for some reason, but they're pretty much free money at this point, so that's cool. By day 85, I'd made it into the main area after looting many of the Brotherhood boys. I spawned into this conflict, and I just decided to let them fight it out, you know? Just let, let nature take its course. I walked into an all-out brawl. Once again, my main priority was to loot the Brotherhood. Then I instantly turned on the Institute since. I also went back to check on how this thing went, and um, the railroad lost very badly, so I just decided to clean up the mistakes. The Institute wanted me to kill the Sins, but I just left after a bit of hesitation, I'm be honest. I don't know why I hesitated and thought about it, but uh, yeah, I didn't kill them. Day 86, I met this dude, I, I mean my son, on the roof. He's a, he's a lost cause. He's got like major savior complex. So I now will disown him. I no longer have a son. I did some more scheming and then I met with the leaders of my enemy. Turns out that the son that I no longer have is di di dying. And I'll be the dictator of the Institute now. Now they want me to go on a mission to prove my worth and this respectable woman wanted to go with me. No, just simply, just simply not doing it. I'm not babysitting. It's fine if I take like my first negative choice of the whole series, but I, I don't care. I'm not babysitting. And of course on this mission, the Brotherhood is here. 
Why? I literally, I, who's leading you guys? I literally, I killed all of your head people who was in charge here, but I exterminated them and I was pretty much done. I just had to do a bit of skeet shooting on the elevator, but honestly, the biggest challenge of all this was making sure I got all of their armor. Cause once again, just free money at this point. There were a couple legendaries, but nothing too bad. Just had to step in here and get a bit of the, okay. Just gonna do some drugs and run for it. All right, half my health is radiation, but now, now I die. Now is when, now is the end of my life. Oh wait, never mind. I'm God. That just slipped my mind. Anyways, now Mother, from the hit Netflix show Mother, was instantly killed because once again I am Jesus and reincarnated. A couple more walking money bags spawned in, but uh, I'm done, and I got back just in time for the Institute Civil War. Got to take care of this situation with class and finesse as their new leader. Day 88, just gotta get past a couple of turrets, no big deal. Who made these? Who, I just wanna talk. Where did my health go? I, I just, I just want, I just want answers. All right, I made it to the main area. Guys, I am no longer in a good mood. So if you just wanna let me in. No? Okay, just gonna become a dictator real quickly. They gave up pretty smoothly after I destroyed literally all of their defenses. And um, then this guy said this. Future generations will remember this, huh? No. No, I don't think they will. Now, to go make bank using the power armor and my purified water. I bought so much ammo, I am so happy. But day 89. It's time to move forward with the revolution. I freed some of the worker synths on the bottom floor. Then I did a little institute mission, but my charisma is super low and I couldn't persuade the guy and I, the whole thing messed up, but it doesn't matter. Day 90. Speaking of stats, I um, I wanna try to do something fun for the last 10 days or so. Uh, I wanna try to respec my stats using a mod and try out a melee build, you know, just for fun. But before that, I need a couple melee weapons. First, I'll get a knife by clearing out this mission. Some bandits were getting revenge on a serial killer who only killed bandits. I can fight with that, so I decided to help him out. I swept through this place pretty cleanly and I managed to get the jump on the boss before he killed uh, my guy Pikmin. As a reward, he told me where to find his knife. Next on day 91, I needed to help this farm. So I... Then I sold some of my riches to get the General Chow's Revenge. It's a pretty cool sword. The next I needed to go into the pit from the Batman movies. Uh, there were raiders scattered everywhere. They were really annoying, but I made it in alright. But uh, just another, just another small problem this place is hunted and i hate it so i speed ran through this place i killed all the lost souls in here and dived into the pit to cleanse my sins and get the tooth now it's time i reset my skill tree and by the end of the day i had a new build it was back in action but now it's time to do a little bit of a dictator thing i announced the institute's presence to the world i went with a more chilled approach since the institute will be done so soon then day 93, I infiltrated the secure operation that was the Diamond City radio station. And after that, it was time for the big Institute generator reveal. And I got to do the honors. This is a big, a lot of big things happening for the Institute. It'll be a shame when they're all dead. But before that, it's time for the meeting and I run this operation now. And I'll be running it into the ground and then destroy it. But before that, there's one last mission with the Institute. Okay, <laughs> can't can't do that, so I guess I'm done with the Institute now. Day 94, it's time. The only problem is that the Brotherhood is actually just attacking the railroad right now. I, once again, do not know who was running the Brotherhood, but they are doing something. Uh, ironically enough, they're actually pretty tough right now. With my melee build, I sort of rely on sneak attacks, which wasn't really a big problem until this hallway. I died three times. We're not gonna talk about it. It wasn't anything too bad. I was mostly just dying from loot goblining all the like armor from these guys anyways, because once again, I just have a problem. But now it's time to terminate the Brotherhood again. Uh, the only problem is that this police station is once again a problem for my build. I needed a strategy, a strategy with finesse. I called it the sneaky stab strategy, where I sneak up behind them and then I stabbed them. And it worked. I cleared this building pretty easily and now I just needed to wait. Day 95, before we took off, we had a bit of a disruption, but I was able to take care of them and I... So day, so day 95, we had a bit of a... 
I handled it, okay? I handled the problem and we're off. As soon as we landed, it turns out that a few of the guys had respawned. I guess that explains why they just did not go up in flames. This was not great for my new build once again because power armor in general just doesn't really take great to any of my damage. I tried to use the stealth pack and uh, that did not work. And at one point I actually got spawn trapped by this battalion of dudes. But my elite gaming skills and extreme luck prevailed and I was able to wipe them all out. And them respawning just meant more money anyway, so it was all good in the end. I got all the armor that I could, and I cleared the floor that I skipped, and uh, we're on our way. The Brotherhood is no more, once again. And now I'm on the last world mission before the Rebellion. Just a quick clear mission. And another Day 97. I think I wanted to figure out my build a little bit more, but the mission that I did just ended up being too easy. It would be great to have a challenge before the final fight. Okay, first attempt at this guy just didn't go great. We'll learn from this experience and go again. Okay, it's time. I cleared this room and I let the reinforcements in. We made our way through the base, taking on the sense was a bit more annoying, even with the sword that did extra damage to robots, but it was fine. And this thing concerns me. But we made it through. The main assault went pretty smooth besides these guys having an ultra instinct and blocking literally every single swing I threw at them. What are you feeding these robots? I don't, I can't, I can't kill any of them. I had to like wait for them to like get distracted and like sneak behind them and attack them. It was awful. But by day 100, everything had been cleared and I confronted the son that I no longer have. He was just the worst till the end. It should be pretty smooth from here on. Okay, so I seem to have made a lapse in judgment and it, is, it was not easy from here on out. And instead they had a machine gun and a rocket launcher. Why, I do not know. But after I cleared them, I set up the bomb. And you know what? There was one last gift from father, a new son. You know, maybe he wasn't so bad. Nah. Anyways, Institute goes. <laughs>